Hey everybody, today on the Border Hookups, I will be reviewing the High Boy P6 Fat Tire Electric Bike. Full disclosure, I have never owned an e-bike and I have definitely never reviewed an e-bike until today, that is. When High Boy gave us the opportunity to give an honest review, we jumped at that said opportunity. So what's my first impression? Well, Unlike uh, much lighter mountain bikes that I'm used to riding, the P6 comes in at 65 pounds. The bike arrived 85% assembled, and it took about 30 minutes uh, to complete the rest. I would suggest that you use two people since the weight of the bike can make it a bit of a challenge. After the first assembly process, if I had to do it again, I could have probably done it in half of that time. Don't make the same mistake that I did by putting the handlebars on backwards. Ah, rookies. The packaging was solid and all of the components arrived in perfect condition. One thing that I love about the P6 out of the gate are the simple lines and graphics. The black matte finish along with the white lettered uh, logo really pops. One of my favorite features uh, are the bright headlight and the horn. And it comes in really handy when you're uh, kicking across the desert at night and the horn comes in handy to let people know you're coming. It's a little loud, so be careful so you don't surprise people. The control display, plenty bright. Uh, you'll want to make sure you angle it precisely for the maximum visibility, especially in the daytime. Uh, I did ride the bike at night and the display was almost too bright. Angling it away might help with this. The control panel has multiple features, including an LCD backlit screen, power level, battery level, speed, odometer, tripometer, voltage meter, timer. In addition to the large shipping box, there's a smaller box that holds the keys, assembly tools, pedals, user manual, and charger. I would suggest using a larger tool kit uh, since the tools that come with the bike uh, can be a little small for larger hands and a little bit cumbersome. I absolutely love the uh, 26 by 4 inch fat tires which are great on loose dirt and bumps. The tires actually act as shock absorbers which is really really cool. In the past we have had trouble with our skinnier tires on our mountain bikes uh, out in the desert sand whereas these fat tires solve that problem completely by floating over the top of the dirt and the sand which is amazing. Another feature that I love is a twist throttle, especially because I come from the world of motorcycles. The twist throttle allows you to keep your hand completely closed on the grip as opposed to a thumb throttle lever on other bikes. So here are some specs. First of all, there are three riding modes. One, bike, which is just pedaling. Two, power assisted pedaling. And three, pure electricity, meaning you just twist the throttle and go. The battery is a 48 volt, 13 amp hour removable waterproof battery with an indicator light to show the charge level. There are nine speeds that will give you options for pedaling and pedaling assist, and the drivetrain is a Shimano Altus unit. Again, the P6 comes in at 65 pounds with a max load of 265 pounds. An important number to keep in mind is the standover height, which is 28.3 inches. Now, if you're a shorter person, that's gonna be an issue because once you get off the seat, that bar is gonna be a little bit high for you to build a standover. So make sure that you uh, know what your inseam is on your measurements. The suspension has adjustable front shocks and are very easy to manipulate. There is no rear suspension. Keep in mind that the fat tires really do help in softening the bumps though. The brakes are dual mechanical. This brakes both front and back. The P6 is listed as a class three bike, meaning that it is equipped with a speedometer and only assists 
until the bike reaches 28 miles per hour. This was new to me. I just learned it myself. The motor is a Bafang 750 watt high speed brushless motor with plenty, plenty of power for this 225 pound rider. Oh, did I mention the comfortable padded seat? All right, so we turn on the controller. And I've been riding this bike for probably about a week and a half now. Just trying to get it all sorted out before I hand off the information to you guys. Um, so what you do is you click through the modes. Zero is just pedal. Um, this bike is, you know, 65 pounds, so it, it weighs a little bit. Um, so if you're not on assist, you feel it. But it's a good workout too at the same time. If I ran out of power out on a ride, I wouldn't be too frightened about riding it back. It wouldn't be like I was a, a paperweight out there. So um, we're going to take off. And as I said before, it has an odometer, it has a speedometer, uh, it has a, a tripometer, and it tells you how full the battery is right there, which is really nice. So let's do this. Engage is right away. Um, not going very fast, obviously, because I'm pedaling really, uh, really quickly. but. On the other side of the shifter to go down is the shifter to go up. So now I'm taking off and even in speed one, it'd be a workout, but it works really well. So now I'm gonna go up to two. Yeah, can feel it pick up big time. Actually it's pretty big, pretty big jump. And then three and really taking off four, five. Yeah, so then I have to shift up more. I went the wrong way. There we go. No, I did go the right way. <laughs> if I'm not careful, I'm going to run into the fence. So as I take off, it's immediate. It's like a turbo. It's tons of power. Sorry for the jerky ride here. I'm out at the fairgrounds riding in the center area of the horse track. Because I didn't want to be out on the roads because the roads are pretty tight here. Pretty small. Now, if I just want to do throttle, I'll, I'll show you how, how fast it takes off with just throttle. So this is no pedaling. That's pretty good. I ran out of room, so, you know, it, it, it's a good kick. And, Again, I had said in the video that I had never ridden an e-bike, or never owned an e-bike, rather. I'd ridden an e-bike a couple of times. But when you're riding somebody else's e-bike, you're a little bit more careful because you don't want to crash. But now that I have my own e-bike, um, I don't worry about it as much, so I'm willing to kind of uh, push the limits a little bit, and this thing gets up and goes really fast. Like, even just touching the pedals, the pedal, immediately it takes off so there's no lag time um, one nice thing about an e-bike is that when you get on the bike and if you're in an area where you just need you kind of need to get going just to get your speed up to start pedaling um, this will do it you just give it a little throttle twist and I'm kind of repeating myself a little bit but one nice thing is that you have your um, brakes disengage the motor so if the brakes are on that doesn't work. One thing to be careful with is if you're not um, on it and ready to go and you're showing somebody how it works, don't twist the throttle without the brake on because it will take off. And um, you don't want to do that because that would be a bad day for everyone involved. So yeah, this is um, a great bike. One thing is that when you're turning, I rode it up to the store this morning. And uh, when you're turning with these fat tires, if you're not used to them, especially if you're going a little bit faster, they feel very spongy. Well, that's the whole idea, is there, there are 20 pounds of, of pressure in them. It's not like a, a race bike or a, a, you know our other mountain bike where we had you know 50 pounds of pressure, whatever it was, where they, the, the tires were rock solid hard. Um, when you turn on this one, it, they do get a little, a little spongy, but it's not bad. I mean, especially on the dirt. The dirt feels very different than, than being on, on asphalt or concrete. 
With this, the dirt just kind of makes it feel natural. It just feels like that's the way it's supposed to be. Here's another thing I was going to point out. In some of the reviews I watch, because I like to review the reviews, because I want to know what, what are people talking about? What, are they, what do people really want to see? And they had listed that there is a um, little squeaky brakes. That's OK, though. Um, there you go. Uh, that they had listed um, that there's a power charger for a USB for your phone on, on this controller. I went out and looked for it, looked for it, looked for it, couldn't find it. I reached back out to High Boy. These guys are great. They get right back to me uh, answering questions. Um, and they said, no, there's no uh, power charger on there, which is kind of a bummer because it would have been nice to have it on there to be able to charge, like put your phone here and be able to have that charging off the battery as you go down the road. But oh well, it's not a deal breaker for me. I can put it in my pocket and call it a day. One thing that I don't like about it is there's no place for water bottles um, to screw on cages for water bottles. So basically you either have to put on the hip belt with water bottles in there, which is fine, or put a rack on the back. Or In my case, I wear my backpack a lot, so that's not a, a big deal for me. Um, but it would have been nice, you know? It's gotta have a water bottle. I really, really like this thing, and I'm looking forward to riding it more in the future to take it more off-road over some hills and but right now we're just trying it out on the racetrack. And that's the High Boy P6 Fat Tire Bike. I love it, love it, love it.